Journal Entry 347 We did our best to hide our tech and went in for a landing at the city air dock. Some people came out and greeted us, dressed in simple clothing. Three of them were human, the rest were elves. Well, elves that looked like they were the same sub-race as the Rhinegraf Spymaster. They were casually armed with disguised long rifles which looked like matchlock pistols tucked into their belts. We introduced ourselves as traders from Manden, braving the desert wastes to open trade routes and look at the alchemy stuff we have. Well, we found out what the name of the city is, New Paris, City of Light. Well, we know who founded it now. I didn't detect anything distrustful of them though they were considering us peasant scum and weren't too pleased that we arrived in an airship. We told them that this was a merchant guild expedition and that they were waiting for our return, successful or not. They called out one of their merchants, a sun cleric. He looked over our ingredients, shrugged and said we had nothing he wanted. He did take interest in our airship, though started asking questions about it while we casually prodded him for information. Why the Sun Church cleric was acting as a merchant? Well, apparently the Sun Church runs things in this city of light. It's considered the holy capital of the Sun Church, except apparently only a handful of people across the desert even know it exists. We were invited to see if they had anything we wanted to buy. He led us to what I'm pretty sure is the city garbage dump. Mold pieces of equipment, rusted, junked, old clothes, and so on. We picked through it for a few minutes, pretending to be interested, but ultimately turned him down. We asked if we could stay in the city for a few days. We had traveled a long ways and needed some rest. He considered for a few minutes before agreeing. We made our way into the city. It wasn't as advanced as I figured. It looked like Alien in maybe 20 years if they embraced everything we threw at them. It's all a uh, eclectic mix of magic, technology, and medieval design ideas with some early steampunk mix in, maybe. We're held up for the night in an apartment near the city exit with a bunch of cots our guide had brought in. We have running water bathroom facilities with sewage access, and what he called a food tube. It distributes a mint-flavored paste with the consistency of mashed potatoes that the locals apparently eat. It was horrible. It better not be processed to dead people. Our guide made it clear that he doesn't want us wandering in the city. His reasoning was that we didn't know the laws and didn't want us to get in trouble or hurt ourselves. <laughs> How nice. Jason's gonna sneak out soon and take a good look around. Journal Entry 348 Well, while Jason was out, a certain sun priest burst into our room with guards, pointing at us dramatically and yells, Terrans! If we had Avery with us, we'd have fought back, but none of us wanted to deal with the long-term effects of musket wounds. Plus, we have a baby with us. So, we've been taken prisoner. We were taken through the city to another area that more or less had the same facilities as the last room, just with bars on the door. They sorted through our gear and ran off with our tech and... Then the questioning began. They brought in a scion interrogator, an elf. I volunteered first. He didn't expect it. He was trained to go through memories carefully, like pages in a book, while I was trained to mind rape and dominate. He started asking questions while starting his subtle mental penetration. He wanted to know how long we've been here, what we've been doing, what technologies we had given out, and so on. And instead, I grabbed him like a rag doll and made him tell me everything without saying a word. 
This city was founded 800 years ago by Terrans and a local tribe of desert elves that worshipped the sun, but not the sun god. They believed that the Terrans came from the sun and worshipped them as well. They used their loyal population to start building this city. From what I gathered, they were trying to make this the center of learning and keep it isolated enough to stay out of all the wars. We may be looking at the future of Alien here. The locals are descendants of Terrans, the tribals and adventurers that made the journey here. When the last of the Terrans died, the influx of new ideas stopped dead and things stagnated until 400 years ago, when some of that batch of Terrans made their way here and founded a new Sun Church and trying to bring the city out of its isolation. The locals worshipped the sun and had no problems converting, but realized that these people were like their founders. Their knowledge was taken from them by force, and they were used as well, breeding stock. 200 years ago, another group showed up and were immediately picked up by the Parson spies before they could make any impression on this world and followed the same fate as the others. They were planning on doing the same with us. Around the time the guards were starting to get suspicious, the necks exploded in a shower of blood. Jason managed to find us and intercepted our stolen goods. I erased the interrogator's mind and we did a jailbreak. We are currently holed up in some guy's apartment. I convinced him that we're relatives. He's incapable of acting against us right now. We're currently working out what we're going to do next.